The Miami Dolphins secondary has been their strongest unit these last few seasons. The team is only adding talent and depth to this position and while it's plausible to suggest that Howard can't duplicate his 2020 season, there is little reason to expect a huge drop-off. Miami's secondary should be just as strong as last season. Here are my roster predictions for the defensive backs. Starter, Zabian Howard. This is the clear-cut no-brainer in this entire series. After a defensive player of the year run in a top-five corner in the game billing, there is absolutely no reason to think Howard won't be the day one starter. Starter, Byron Jones. After signing a huge contract in the 2020 offseason, Jones' first season in Miami left a lot to be desired. Hopefully, with a normal offseason this go-around, Jones can have a bounce-back season that justifies Miami's lavish spending. Starter, Nick Needham. Nick Needham is not the best corner on this roster but has done a decent job over the last few seasons to warrant a starting spot in the slot. He may get replaced quickly depending on how some of the backups on this list develop this training camp. But, as of now, Needham gets a starting spot. Miami's secondary has the talent to be one of the top units in the league. They added even more depth this offseason to help build on a solid 2020. Backup, Noah Igbenogany. Igbenogany was a bit of a disappointment in his first season in Miami. After the early injury to Byron Jones, Igbenogany was thrust into the starting lineup and didn't come close to looking like a first-round pick. Hopefully, with a full offseason, Igbenogany can prove he has the ability to compete at the highest level. Backup, Jamal Perry, another player who was discovered during Flores' first year in Miami. Perry should be able to lock up a spot on this roster because of his competitive play and Flores' desire for depth at the corner position. He could also be a solid contributor on special teams. Backup, Justin Coleman. Coleman was signed in the 2021 offseason and is an easy decision to add some depth to this roster. I doubt he sees considerable playing time, but he could step in if there is an injury to one of the starters on this roster. Outside looking in, Javaris Davis. Davis is just not good enough to supplant anyone above him on the roster. Trill Williams. As an undrafted free agent, Williams's chances are slim to begin with and with the strength and depth of the unit, he won't make this roster. 